coach Chris Jans joins us court, court side now to talk about the game. What did you think about your team's effort to get over the hump on the road here tonight? You know, for the most part, I thought it was pretty good. We had a good start. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't close the half very well. It was like deja vu from Saturday afternoon. But they came out in the second half and really reestablished themselves. And then basically, you know, I think they had – the back-to-back threes there where they cut it to six. And after that, you know, I think it was close to double figures or more than double figures um, the rest of the game. So um, I thought they had the right mindset. Uh, You know, we got the ball inside. We didn't shoot as many threes as I would have anticipated. But, um, you know, it was was good. It was good. Disappointed in a number of turnovers. Uh, We just had some silly, casual um, passes, and and we can't, can't be doing that. But definitely happy we got the win. Coach, you talked about they made the two three-pointers and cut it to six after we got off to a great start in the second half. You changed the one-three-one. Did that that, that kind of turn the game around, I thought? Yeah. um, Coach Miller actually is the one that suggested it, and, you know, he does the matchup. So, you know, he's in tune with exactly who the other team has on the floor all the time. And he just said, hey, this would be a good time for 13. And um, so I trust him and fired away. We went back-to-back possessions with it, and they didn't have some of their best shooters in the gym, and it really worked out um, for us. So uh, I can't take credit for that. And i got to give Coach Miller a tip of the cap for uh, having good timing uh, for changing their defenses, and it really, really helped us at a key moment in the game. What was the game plan against G.G. Jackson, the talented freshman? Just make it really, really hard. Make him a volume scorer, be real physical with him, uh, nothing easy. I mean, he made a bomb. One of his four makes was, I mean, was a bomb. I mean, we were right there and um, try to frustrate him if, if we could. You know, he, he's still new to college basketball. He's obviously really talented, but, um, you know, we got some older guys and they aren't going to fear anybody and they're going to take on challenges. And uh, I thought we did a really good job on him for the majority of the night. Early in the season, you were bringing Shaquille Moore off the bench because you wanted that spark, that offensive guy coming off the bench. Now he's starting, obviously had a great game tonight, but the spark off the bench tonight was Tyler Stevenson. It looks to me like he continues to improve as he gets more experience playing big-time college basketball. Yeah, I I, I love Tyler. I mean, you know that. You and I have talked plenty on and off uh, radio, and, um, you know, he he must be getting a little more confident because I barked at him on a pass, and he barked right right back at me and, and that's not like and him that's now. not like him no that's not my, at all that, that was my point is you know i'm like it took me back and i'm like okay tyler let's go you know and uh, i kind of liked it and then of course right away he gets out the court coach you're good we're good man i promise we're good and um you know he didn't play a ton of minutes in the first half but he was three for five in the minutes that he played and then obviously because of that he got more minutes in in the second half and uh, i loved it in one of the media timeouts he had he had got cut in the mouth and he looked like a fighter he had his blood all in there and i'm like okay yeah I don't know, we're cooking um but yeah he he was a big spark and you know um shack obviously nine for eleven you know, turned the ball over too much, but got his hands on a lot of balls, got some steals, got out in transition, had some excellent um, finishes. And uh, I do prefer to have a guy. Um, but at the time, you know, we were obviously uh, on the bad side of the, of the column, if you will, and we needed to switch it up. And, um, you know, it's worked out thus far. You were able to get out and run tonight, too. Outscored them on the break 19-2. to two. And I know you mentioned Shaq just now getting a hand on the ball and getting to start that fast break. But – For this team to be able to do that and do it on the road, how significant is that? As you all know, um, you know, we're trying to push it, trying to score early. It's it's the old school way, uh, the extremes of offense, you know, trying to score in the first seven, eight seconds of the shot clock before they're five on five, trying to get some outnumbered situations. And then if not, you know, not slow it down. But um, make sure we're getting what we want, you know, and try to make them have to guard for a period of time where they can possibly make a defensive mistake and we can take advantage of it. And sometimes, you know, it bites us because we'll get to a shot clock situation. And right now our numbers are awful in shot clock situations. So I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that would say, why would you wait? But um, we don't need to be in the, you know, 70, 75 possession games either. So there's a lot more to it than, than just that. But we definitely are trying to encourage them to run and share it and push 
push it and, and really explore what the defense gives them uh, when we get a rebound or even get it out of the net. How would you feel about the way Tolu handled the double team tonight? They came after him a little bit different way than some teams have this year. I uh, wasn't real happy with him early. Uh, I didn't think uh, he was as locked in as he needed to be. Um, so he didn't play probably the amount of minutes that, that he would have. And um, I told him, like, sometimes when he plays against the bigger guys, Gray is a huge man, yeah. right? And he's very good, very big, very physical, plays a great role for South Carolina. And sometimes when Tolu gets against those guys, he just kind of flails and expects to get a bailout. And, like, he should know by now that these refs are really good and they know what you're trying to do. And my thing is just – Take the attempt. Take a good hook shot or take, you know, a good up and under or whatever you're going to, but don't just turn and throw it up in the rim. And, and he knows better than that. And he did that a couple times in the first half, and he didn't do it in the second half. And I thought he was much better in the second half than he was in the first. You know, we, we talked about, excuse me, we talked about before the game with the officiating crew we had tonight, Coach. It was a very experienced officiating crew. They were going to let a lot go on out there tonight. That's the way SEC basketball is when you have those uh, those experienced officials. Not a lot of fouls called. No, not a lot of fouls. And uh, to be honest with you, that's what we've been doing the majority of the year. You know, like we don't foul a lot. If you look at the Ken Palm stuff, efficiency and, and, and the rate and um, – you know, we get to the line usually, you know, quite a bit. Obviously, we didn't get there a ton tonight. But, um, you know, we've got enough size, enough experience, you know, when the game's physical like that, it doesn't bother us. Got a win on the road tonight, too, and I eavesdropped just a little bit when you were talking to television. But that's a huge step for this club, one that they really needed, too. No disrespect, but obviously, you know, South Carolina isn't near the top of, of our league this year. And um, uh, they certainly are – competitive they beat Kentucky on the road and um, but we knew this was one that we had to get you know we, we had to get a road win uh, it was against a team that we felt like we matched up with pretty well and, and we wanted to carry that momentum into Saturday when we were going to play a really really good or really talented a very well coached Missouri team that has all the numbers you know they got all the metrics all the numbers uh, we get them at home and we got to play them twice but we just felt like in order for us to to have that momentum and get a possible streak going that we obviously had to take care of this road win and I'm happy for our guys you know every time we go on the road now you know we, we don't have to talk about you know the what ifs we don't have to talk about the fact that we haven't won an SEC road game so I thought it was crucial and need to pack the hump on Saturday with that good Missouri team coming in too yeah like you know you guys know I've been so impressed with our crowds um, and I was so impressed Saturday with the number of people especially the students and you know Saturday five o'clock we've got a couple game win streak these guys are playing really hard and, and really well and I'm hoping guys and people will come out and support them. Congratulations coach. Okay guys, Hail State.